Okay, so this is Mr. Sloan. We're talking about the classwork part of environmental science. I like to look at four to six trips in the field. That's a combination of after school optionals, strongly encouraged to uh, Saturdays, same thing. Uh, trips are everywhere from the lower Puget Sound to local estuaries, to the Squally Wildlife Refuge, to lot sewage treatment. The AP exam, if you're interested, we use this book. It's a Miller book. This is an older book. There's, there's approximately 25 chapters in the book. All the chapters are on the AP exam. However, I am strongly encouraging kids who've had chemistry, so we don't rewrite chemistry within the last year. Uh, that eliminates a couple chapters on just basic chemical reactions and elements in the environment. Homework. My philosophy is this, you have a test on Friday. If you're not ready for the test, then you're going to fail. What do you do to get ready for the test? You do whatever you need to do. What are some of the things that you'll need to do? I don't present the material. Every student that's in class, if there's 20 kids in class, every kid gets a chapter. They make a PowerPoint of that chapter. Or maybe two of them work together. They become the expert. There's no sense in me producing the chapter. I know the chapter. You need to know the chapter. So you produce the chapter, you do the PowerPoint, you make the notes, kids fill in the notes. All right? That's how that works. You're an expert on that. Of course, I'm there for your presentation to ask all the hard questions to find out what you haven't looked up. That's one of the expectations is everyone takes a chapter. There may be a few chapters I do. Labs. How many labs? Oh, we're looking at about a lab a month. You know, about nine months in school by the time you maybe eight. You have to do a lab. Team with someone, one or two people, team up to do a lab. What might be one of the labs that you may do? You may do water quality lab uh, with uh, salt water or fresh water. Um, you setting up monitoring stations. You might do a soil quality lab uh, based on um, uh, the soil quality as far as uh, plant growth health. There's about 10 labs that we have. You'll sign up for a lab. I'll help you prepare the lab you're in charge of setting it up from A to B. Last thing that's required is a research project. For example, here's a research project right here. This is, uh, these are cuttings, these are clones. These are cuttings of very expensive plants. Um, those are all tips. Uh, they've been treated with a certain kind of root hormone and also they've been treated with a certain kind of insecticide. One of the most popular insecticides in the world. If you use different types of insecticides in the five trays, what are the results of the root cutting hormones over time? Uh, the result in your propagation. That's an example of a fairly short type of uh, lab type um, uh, research project that you can do and present. But that's expected too is the research project. Uh, it's expected to be science quality and also presentable to a science type fair without too much of the fanfare. So, science project, one lab, 30 chapters. Um, test every week. That's kind of the expectations for the um, AP Environmental Science.